Uh, here we are at the Palmy Jail House. Uh, we just saw the first fight at USC 106. Uh, what was your impression of the first fight? It was a uh, very good fight, very competitive. I think the Bill Baroni was a little bit. I don't think he was ready for the fight. He, didn't, he wasn't. Uh, Earlier tonight, like he was the net to the chain. He's just coming back. The other guy did really good. What was the deciding factor in that fight? I think uh, all of the kicks uh, that the other guy had. Uh, Amir Sadal. Yeah, he he uh, did the kicking and uh, just kept slapping him in the legs and, and kind of got that leg so bruised and sore that he, other guy couldn't hardly stand on the on his feet. So the, the kick, the kicking was the dominant thing that won that fight. I think. Okay, that was the first fight impression. Uh, we look forward to the next fight, so keep you posted. Huh? There we are with the uh, UFC 106 report, and we just saw the second match. Uh, what did you think of that fight? Well, it was a great action all night. One sided fight. Tell us about the winner and the loser. Well, the, the winner came in there. Uh, Noguera. Noguera. He was, uh, Ready? he just was punching him. And he hit the guy. And the other guy had no defense against him. And it was over uh, after a few punches. The other guy was loosey with the punch. He just finished him off. So it wasn't much of a fight. Did really. you say there's a major difference in skills between the two guys? Uh, it seemed like it, or else there was one lucky punch. One lucky punch can end the fight. No matter how good the other guy It's hard to recover when you get a hard punch. All right, Jesse Brown, what's going on? What did you think of that fight? Was it? Uh, All right, we just saw the uh, UFC 106 preliminary fight. Right. We saw Ben Saunders right. knock out uh, Marcus Davis. Okay. A welterweight battle. Right. Uh, basically, it was Ben Saunders landing a, a knee right. to the face of uh, Marcus Davis. Right. And uh, Marcus Davis was uh, brutalized with that knee, and it ended the fight. Um, ben Saunders looked really good. Uh, Marcus Davis put up a good fight too. Uh, it was mostly a striking battle, right. but there was a good um, suplex by uh, Ben Saunders. Right. I really like the fight. That's good. That's good. Shut it. Shut, shut it off. Yes. Yeah, I was uh, really surprised with this fight. I never knew it would come out the way it did. I had no idea. Uh, we just saw uh, Anthony Johnson versus Josh Koscheck, 170 pounds. Tell us who won the fight. Huh? Tell us who won the fight. Well, uh, Koscheck won the fight. Josh Koscheck. How did he win? Well, he uh, choked. It. Actually, choked the guy the way it was. Yeah. Uh, basically, the fight was about even, except for Gossett was a really good wrestler, and he got in that position, got that choke hold, and then he had him. I haven't seen many of those types of submissions, but when you get in a hole like that, you got somebody in the neck, you pretty well got them, right? Yeah. That's so, what they can do. What was the most exciting part of that fight? Most exciting part of that fight? Yeah. Well, it was exciting because both of them had eye pokes and uh, had to stop the fight, and then both of them uh, came back pretty strong, so uh, it was just a good fight all the way around. Okay, we just finished watching uh, UFC 106. First of all, I'd like you to comment on the uh, main event match between Forrest Griffin and Tito Ortiz. How did you like that? Well, I thought it was a, a real good fight, but I, I really, I believe Tito was really injured. I believe he's right about that. And, uh, but Forrest punches took over in the halfway mark. You could tell that. All right, so uh, Forrest Griffin ended up winning the fight via just split decision. Do you believe that that was the uh, correct decision made? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what was the biggest deciding factor for Forrest winning the match? Well, he kept landing a lot of punches. He, he kept uh, kicking and 
he kept uh, he was the aggressor. Yeah. Uh, Tito wasn't able to get him down on the ground mm -hmm. as much as he normally does. If he did, it could have gone a different way. But I believe Tito, Tito was really injured and uh, a head injury from whatever. But I think that probably had a big thing to do because it was just like at the end of the no, match, it's like Tito was just trying to hang in there and finish the fight. He yeah. didn't have that much. And he, and he, he certainly wasn't able to take Forrest down. So uh, Forrest was just throwing punches and landing a lot of punches. Yeah. Um, were you impressed by Forrest tonight? Uh, his, he looked good. His boxing skills look good. I... I don't know uh, what level of boxer he is. He would be compared to the well, Silva's ev evidently a much better boxer. But my question would would Forrest be able to come back and get some about like Silva and, and give him a good fight, possibly beat him? I don't know if he's that good. We'll have to see. In the future. Would you like to see uh, two more rounds for that fight tonight? Tonight, no. no. Not, not at the end because it was pretty clear that T was pretty well beat up. He was pretty well tired. And uh, I'm glad it ended the way it did that uh, neither one of them got hurt. And especially Tito, if he had that, that crack saw, saw what you said he did. I'm glad that the fight ended. Okay, so what's next for these two fighters? A rematch, or will Forrest Griffin go on to fight somebody uh, higher up on the rankings? Well, I think Forrest should fight other people. I don't think Tito's ready. Tito's going to have to get his head healed up for six months or whatever how long it takes. But Tito's definitely should, in my opinion, should have never fought this fight, except he probably needed the money, you know, and they'll fight for money even though they're hurt. So, which so that fight with uh, Anthony Johnson and Josh Koscheck, you think that was definitely yeah, the best fight? that was a, the most interesting fight, mm -hmm. because uh, well, tonight I, I saw a number of times uh, where usually if both fighters are good and one seems to be stronger physically, like the first fighter seemed to be, you, I kind of lean towards so physical strength, but now it appears that these fighters are skilled, 